Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna talk about free weight exercises that you can do while you're suffering from lower back pain. If you watch my videos in previous uh, weeks, I've updated you a progression routine from uh, flow work to gym exercises. And in this routine, we're gonna go through free weight exercises. If you're suffering from chronic lower back pain due to disc bulges, a herniation, a stenosis, and so on. You can train in the gym if you follow a plan. In this channel, I'll share with you a basic, uh, intermediate, and advanced routine. And in this routine, we're gonna go through a free weight routine that you can try if you're suffering from chronic lower back pain. If you haven't tried this exercise before, make sure to go back to my beginner routine and gradually build up to these advanced exercises. If you've never been in this channel, my name is Bob, I'm a physical therapist. I help people globally who suffer from chronic lower back pain and help them with, give them a second opinion and create clarity about their case and provide them a routine that they can follow day-to-day -day basis and help them to get back doing what they love pain-free. If you ever wanna get a second opinion, you can use the link below and book your online consultation and we can go through your case and I can give you some idea of where can you start. If you would like to get, see my online client's testimonial, you can watch the link um, that I share with you in this video and you can get an idea of what we do in online consultation and it might be something that you can get started and get pain free. If you find this video helpful, make sure to press that like button and if you'd like to see more video, make sure to subscribe to my channel for my weekly updates and by pressing that bell, you can get an update in a weekly basis. The first exercise is gonna be single leg RDLs or Romanian deadlift. To simplify the movement, you're going to use a foam roller as I share with you in this video. The foam roller helps you to create some sort of pressure between your arms and your legs and create that hip hinge that you want to do in single leg RDL. You're gonna practice this exercise in both sides for three sets of eight to 10 repetition. And while you're doing this movement, you wanna minimize arching your lower back. Try to go with slow tempo and practice this movement daily. When you start to feel comfortable with the foam roller, you can replace the foam roller with a kettlebell as light as five to eight kg and simulate basically the same movement with the kettlebell. This movement can be challenging, which is challenge your balance. You try to go within a comfortable range of movements and gradually build up to the full range. This has to be done for three sets of eight to 10 repetition. The following movement that I'm gonna share with you guys is gonna be incline bench press with dumbbells. In this exercise, you're going to adjust the bench in incline position and you're going to start the movement with some dumbbells as light as 5 kg. The weight of the dumbbell at the initial phase of your rehab is not really important. You're going to gradually build up some movement and increase the weight after a couple of weeks. This exercise should be done for 3 sets of 8 to 10 repetition within the comfortable range of movements. We are going to progress these movements to Bulgarian squat with medicine ball, which can be an advanced move if you've never done this movement before. If you find holding a ball is difficult, you can basically try this movement without the ball and gradually progress them to holding a medicine ball and practice this movement for three sets of eight to 10 repetition in each side. The following movement is going to be side raises that you're going to be in a seated position on a bench or a chair. You're trying to maintain your back as straight as possible and your neck is looking forward and you're trying to side raise the dumbbell as light as 3 to 4 kg for 3 sets of 8 repetition. Breathing is essential while you're doing these movements. The following movement is going to be flat bench press with dumbbell. As you can see, I'll try to show you how you can lift the dumbbell from a seated position while you're leaning back on the bench. You're trying to use 
a dumbbell as light as 3 to 4 kg and gradually build up on the weight. As you can see, I don't hold the dumbbell straight. There's a 45 degree angle on my shoulder and I would uh, prefer to use that and it's much easier on my shoulder. You can try this exercise for three sets of eight to 10 repetition and whenever you felt comfortable, gradually progress on the weight. Bend over row is an advanced move that you're going to use the bench initially and try to lean on the bench and holding dumbbells as light as five to eight kg and try to simulate the bend over row movement while you're getting assistance from the bench. This exercise can strengthen your upper and middle back muscle and while you're doing this movement, you're trying to stabilize your body on the bench with one leg and try to breathe in and out through the movement. This exercise should be done for three sets of eight to 10 repetition. Whenever you got comfortable with the assistant bend over row, you can try a normal bend over row with the dumbbell. As you can see in this video in two different angles, you're trying to stabilize your core, maintain your back in that angle and try to pull back the dumbbells. This exercise should be done with a slow tempo for three sets of eight repetition. The following move I'm gonna share with you in this routine is gonna be shoulder press. As you can see, the bench is not completely straight. That gives you a chance to lean back a little bit and have more space for pushing the weights up over your head. This exercise helps to relax your shoulder while you're in the shoulder press. One of the errors that I see commonly with shoulder press is that the bench is really straight and that can annoy the shoulder and the neck. Try this exercise for three sets of eight to 10 repetition. If you find this routine difficult, you can always start with intermediate and beginner routine that I share in this channel. And you can follow those exercises for quite some time and gradually build them up to the gym routine and free weights. Make sure to follow this routine initially and gradually build them up for your optimum results. If you're suffering from chronic lower back pain and you would like to get a second opinion, you can always book an online consultation with the link below. If you'd like to get more clarity, you can get some idea from how I help my patient. You can always watch my patient testimonial with the link below and get an idea how I help them uh, through online consultation and rehab plan. I believe every single person with chronic lower back pain has a chance to recover. And if you never try, you never know. Before you finish this video, make sure to like this video and make sure to subscribe my channel for my weekly update. Until next week, all the best.